Look at this bucket. It's made of oak. It's hundreds of years old. It's currently kept in the bell tower of the Cathedral of Modena in Emilia Romagna, Italy. And it's been there for hundreds of years, but it wasn't always there. And its journey to its current destination left a path of destruction that cost thousands of lives. This tale takes us back to Italy in the late Middle Ages, and hey, we've been here before on this show. Remember when they dug up the dead Pope and started arguing with him? Italy was weird back then. The north of Italy was divided into factions, supporting the rival political claims of the Holy Roman Emperor and the Pope. The city-state of Bologna supported the Pope, and rival city-state Modena supported the Emperor. It's a bit like football hooliganism. These two states were already clashing over border territories and supporting different teams just made it worse. In 1325, the border clashes had gotten pretty intense. You'd get a load of lads together, go across the border and just fucking wreck the place, which is still the modus operandi of everybody from my town and everybody from the town beside us. Even after 700 years, it's still great fun to be an arsehole. In July, the Bolognese entered Modenese territory and laid waste to the fields by fire and sword. In August, a Bolognese rabble spent two whole weeks smashing the place up. Sounds like a nice holiday. In September, the Bolognese lost a fort through betrayal, and some time after, some Modenese soldiers managed to sneak into the center of Bologna and steal a civic bucket filled with loot in the main city well. <laughs> How did the soldiers sneak into the middle of the city? <laughs> Why did they have a civic bucket filled with loot in the well? What made the soldiers look down the well? Were they already somehow aware that it was there? Were they just thirsty? Did they just pick up the bucket, see it was filled with gold and go, Oh, really wanted some water. The Bolognese were humiliated that their treasure bucket had been taken from right under their noses. But I mean, like, really? You're surprised that somebody took the bucket filled with gold that you just left out in the open? Like, really? Why was that even there? They demanded that the bucket be returned, which I imagine went something like this. Hey, give us a back of the bucket, eh? Hey, piece of fat. Fun fact, the loot in the bucket was actually all robbed from Modena during raids, so they had some fucking brass neck to demand they give it back. Bologna declared war and gathered an army of 32,000 men. They began to march on Modena, but the Modenese met them before they left Bolognese territory. The Modenese only had 7,000 men, that's over four times fewer men. And somehow they still fucking won. About 2,000 men were killed on both sides, but the Bolognese were routed and ran back to the walls of the city. The Modenese stopped outside the city gate, and before they went home, they took a bucket from a nearby well as a trophy. So now they had two buckets. And you can't ask for more than that. The wars between supporters of the Emperor and supporters of the Pope would continue until 1529 when the threats of foreign invasion forced the two sides to make peace. The bucket is still in Modena to this very day. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, you can check out more of my videos. I already mentioned the video I did on the trial of the dead Pope, but I've done a bunch more crazy and bizarre events and will continue to do so. So please check those out, like, share, comment, and subscribe for more buckets filled with gold. Yeah.